The British are coming. The British are coming. The British are coming. The British are coming.
Morning. I'm Representative Maselli, and I'll be speaking to you a little bit later when we adjourn for some luncheon, but I'm going to sit back as a frustrated musician and listen to some good music for a change. So welcome to the State House. Good. Good. Very good.
Rebecca. Thank you very much. We will end our performances. We end all our performances with our theme song, The Water is Wide. Thankfully for us, the water is never too wide for our best friends. Thanks for coming today. Thank you.
put um, Stellion's Carmen by George Beasley. But I'm going to feature Gareth on trumpet, and he's going to play for you um, Gershwin's Summertime.
week for TV station. If you come down now, we'll have to stand over there, please. Okay? Go to Blackfield TV station. Over there. If you're not, you stay where you are, please. <laughs> lunch and fly you but first and foremost the music was very very nice I really appreciate your performing in this beautiful building we're sitting now in the great hall this hall was refurbished and constructed I should say just a few years ago and it's been a welcome addition to this beautiful edifice however the focal point when people walk into this hall is always that clock and that clock played a great part in the elections a few years ago where people talked about the folly of the folks who put that so-called diving bell in the building. But uh, it's nice to have you here and it's always nice to have this hall for these occasions. I think I mentioned earlier, I'm a frustrated musician. I studied music for over 10 years and I thought that would be my life's endeavor. But uh, midway through college, I decided after taking lessons from someone at the Boston Pops Orchestra. I decided maybe that wasn't for me, but I still appreciate it and still enjoy it. And I put down my trumpet and ventured into uh, other areas, and now I'm very much involved in politics. And maybe I made the wrong choice somewhere along the line. But I'd like to make a presentation to you this afternoon, but before I do that, those friendships you're making across the ocean, so to speak, of friendships, that I know will last for a lifetime. I've been involved in a similar program, which is an exchange program, but not musically, but an exchange program in one of the other communities in my district, the town of Tewksbury. And I know these folks, they're much older, they've graduated from high school, gone on through college, and they still visit each other. So I applaud you, it's wonderful to hear the music. And I was mentioning to uh, Charlie Boyle, outside who's very active in our community, he's chairman of our Board of Appeals, and his young daughter is sitting out here and he had to leave, that in listening to you perform, one would get the impression it was all very easy and very simple. But having been involved in the uh, musical field myself, and it was very complicated and very technical, and I know you do it so well so that it appears to come off so easily. So I know you've got a busy day, and I understand you're going to be visiting with Bruce Schwegler, and that should be a great treat. I hope some of you will come back sometime and uh, pursue your tour of the uh, house, because it's a beautiful building. But I'd like to make some presentations as kind of a remembrance of your visit to the State House. I want to thank the parents, the chaperones, the two music directors, and all of you for being here today. And as I said, it was my pleasure to put on this luncheon for you. Uh, this is Lee Grasso and Dick Wilson, both products of the Wilmington School System. And uh, Lee's only been out for a few years and uh, went on and uh, graduated from college. And now she's back and uh, has been our liaison along with Dick Wilson with the community. Now, if you folks will hand me those uh, citations, kind of like the Academy Award. Do you have enough to eat out there? Good. Now, this is what they look like. And I'll read the first one and then just call out the names. And it's the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the House of Representatives, be it hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to Jessica Plant in recognition of your visit to the Massachusetts State House and your involvement in the British American Project you have strengthened the bonds between our two great nations with your music. The entire membership extends its very best wishes and expresses the hope of future good fortune and continued success in all endeavors. And it's given the 20th day of October at the State House by Charles Flaherty, Speaker of the House, offered by James Maselli, Assistant Majority Leader. Jessica? Is Jessica here? Yep. Would you come on up?
congratulations. Annabelle Roberts, now if there are misspellings, please give them back to either Lee or Dick and we'll do them over. Annabelle Roberts. Now, are you from England? Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. This property we're standing on was once owned by England. And uh, Emily Fretwell. Congratulations. Good. Shara Fox. Philip Connor, congratulations. Good to have you here. Philip Connor, is that Jan or Ian? Is that Jan or Ian? Uh, Jan, Jan Beetlesone. Oh. And Jan Beetlesone? Oops. Congratulations. Good. Ian. I was right, it's Ian. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Congratulations. Good. Edward Whitehead. Ross Hay. Edward. Good. Good. Ross Hay. Adrian Quarterman. Ross. Good. Congratulations. Great. Good. Emily Turton. As I said, if they're misspelled, please give them to us. If you see Billy, the Secretary of State, coming out. David Cannon. Congratulations. Nicholas Beatty? No? Yes. Same to you. Yeah. How do you pronounce that? Bate. Nicholas Bate. Is it spelled correctly, Nicholas? Right here? Yeah. Good. Right. Thank you. Jody Asquith? Good. Matthew Tinker. Matthew Tinker. Matthew Tinker. Okay, there you go. Timmy? Yeah. Gareth Melanson. Gareth Melanson. Hannah Hughes. Matthew? Yeah. Gareth? Alexandra Bell. Here it okay. Is this uh, Hannah? Okay, thank you. Philip Sims. Caroline Mooney. Alexandra? Great. Caroline? Great. Jamie Evans. Jamie Evans. Matthew Dunby. Thank you. Alex Lewis. Jamie? Thank you. Matthew? Alex. There you go. Matthew? Good. Good to see you. Allison Margetts. Allison Margetts. Emma Holden. Emma Holden. Who's here? Oh, good. Where is he? Emma Howie. Okay, Allison. Bring the Make sure she brings him up. Allison. Emma. Good. Emma. Good. Oliver Thompson. Yep. Oliver. Good. 
Jonathan Davis, Josie Packer. Dick, why don't you bring the speaker up? Jane Packer. I'd like to interrupt us for a minute to bring the uh, Speaker of the Massachusetts House up front here, Speaker Charles Flaherty, and I'm sure he wants to extend his greetings and say a few words to you. Jonathan? Okay. Josie? Yeah. Mr. Speaker? Jane Parker? Jane Lockwood, Francis Alani. Liam. Liam Darby. Monique Shepard. You Jane? Okay, Jane. Good. Francis? Good. Liam? Good. Monique. 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 You've got Liam. Okay. Good. Liam Jambi's with you. Liam? Only when he wants to be. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Fiona Taylor. Congratulations. That's, uh, yep, good. Good. Fiona? Fiona? Yep. Good. fortunate today to have two outstanding uh, gentlemen who do a fine job in this building and uh, I heard someone say who's the other one <laughs> uh, Speaker of the House Charles Flaherty and uh, he's the Speaker of the House he makes sure things run the way they're supposed to run and he's done an outstanding job for the Commonwealth of Mass and uh, our communities especially the old speaker Yep. Thank you. I'll very much. put you on right away, too. I want to say a warm word of welcome to our visitors from England and uh, hello again to our uh, strings attached from Wilmington. It seems like you guys are up here every other week. At least somebody from Wilmington is right here. Yeah. <laughs> is there anybody in Wilmington who doesn't have a citation for President Vitelli? <laughs> you know, they'll have one before the day is up. <laughs> I was up in my office working very hard as I do all the time, and I, I heard uh, the beautiful music coming up from the second floor, so I had to come down and see what it was all about. So thank you for your content. I hope that you'll go back to your country with fond memories. you come back soon to visit us again, bring your friends, your family, your relatives, spread the word. Tell them more with a lot of pounds, we're transferring them into dollars easily so they can spend them quickly. And you guys want to just keep coming back. You've got what? Around 12, 15 years almost here? You can register to vote, you know, in four, five, or six years, depending on your age. <laughs> Make sure you do that. Jane Fuselli, M I C E L High. <laughs> and to get a chance to put up an X on a statewide ballot, William Galvin, G A L V I N, all capital letters. Have a nice day. Nice to have you all here. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Is there anybody in who doesn't have a citation? They'll anymore? get one eventually. Unbelievable. <laughs> He's going to bankrupt the house. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'd like to introduce another very good friend, former colleague in the House, former chairman of uh, government regulations, and now the Secretary of State of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. He's doing an outstanding job in that position very much involved in the cultural affairs of the Commonwealth, the Secretary of State's office, and this gentleman in particular, the Secretary of State, William Galvin. Thank you. Thank you Jim, very much. Uh, delighted to have the opportunity to welcome our guests and your constituents here as well. 
I think all of you recognize that this is a very beautiful building. What some of you may not know, especially some of our visitors from across the sea, is that this building is the seat of our government here in Massachusetts and it's celebrating its 200th birthday. Just last July, we celebrated the commemoration of the laying of the cornerstone of the front portion of the building, the so-called Charles Bull Center portion of the building. It's very unusual in our country to have a building used for a continuous government purpose for such a long time. I know for our English visitors, uh, 200 years seems a very short period of time given one of the big issues, but for us it's a very long period of time. So this is a very important building. We enjoy our citizens coming here. We also like to show them off to our visitors. And I'm delighted that you have the opportunity today to make it even more beautiful by bringing you beautiful music. I think that the British American project that you've been involved with is a wonderful idea. It gives young, buddy musicians on both sides of the Atlantic an opportunity not only to know each other, but to increase their musical ability, but also to appreciate the cultures of both countries. So I'm thrilled to all see you today. I hope you have enjoyed your tour. I appreciate your presence very much, and I thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Secretary. Yes. Uh, where's Mark? Is Mark here? Jack or Mark? Yeah. Mark? We'd like to take one picture with the Secretary, the Speaker, and the kids out here, too. Just stay where you are. Yeah. Why don't we get over here, you and I? Good. Yep. This up here better? If yeah. you can do it this way, looking yeah. down, maybe that'd be yeah. better to do it. Okay. Get the up here. You might have used the mic to get his attention. Yeah. Right here. Okay. Mr. Speaker, would you care to join us? Would you care to join us? Oh, no, I meant for a picture. Okay. <laughs> maybe a photo with the group in the back. Yeah. You want to do it from, you want to do it from up there, maybe? Would that be the easy way to do it? Yeah. It yeah, you can. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's locked, I see. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll uh, run through the rest, and uh, then I've got something from the governor. Sarah Simpson. You know, if you're running late, let me do those from England. Are those the ones from... Yeah. Okay, because there's if, yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah. You know what I'll do? Let me read those for our guests, and then I'll give those for Wilmington, because I understand you're running behind schedule. It's supposed to be over to Channel 4, is it? Channel 5? Uh, I'll read those from England. And is this Sarah? Wonderful. Congratulations. Emma Roberts. Belmore Benham. Belmore Benham. Jonah Morris. Is that you? Good, thank you. Good to have you. Jonah Morris. Allison, Allison Quartermain. Boy. And Richard Quartermain. And Richard Quartermain. And Don. And Don. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. And uh, this is you, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's not me. No. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't think he knows. Richard Quartermain. And my pleasure. Good. Bob Mattingly. Yes. Sally Wright. Bob. Charlotte Piggin. Piggin. That's right, Piggin. Piggin. Yep. Good. Good. Thank you. Stuart Hobson. Stuart Hobson, Ann Whitaker, Sally Neal. Good. Sally. 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 Ann. 
Good. Abigail Secker. Abigail Secker and Dor Young. And Kathy Pritchard. Pardon that Massachusetts accent. Kathy Pritchard. Coming up. This is Kathy. No, this is this is Dory. 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 Okay. Abigail. Kathy. Kathy. Yep. Gemma Shaw. Hi, Kathy. Congratulations. Good. Gemma. Good. Hannah McCurka, Rachel French, Daniel Jenkinson, and Lindsay Bates. Okay, Rebecca. What are we doing here? Oh, do we have Rebecca? We don't have you. We haven't got you yet. Hannah here? Wait, don't get up yet. Don't go away. Hannah? Rachel? Right here. Daniel? That's easy. Yep, and Lindsay? Okay. And? Just stay close. Stay here. Stay. Okay. Come, come around. Come here. Philippa Sr., Laura Wright, John Atkinson, Serena Sykes, and Sam Whalen. Serena. Serena. Sam. Sam. Philippa. Philippa. Laura. John. Good. Rachel. Rachel. Is that Rachel? No. Okay. Okay. Kate Buick. Becky Hughes. And Rachel Hughes. I'm Becky. She's Becky. Okay, very good, Becky. <laughs> Great, good to see you. Kate. Kate, here you go. Thank you. Rachel Hughes. And Jenny. What? Jenny Beaumont. Jenny, Rachel. Oh, I haven't finished. Can I just do a little couple of things? I'm going to do it. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you. I've got a couple of proclamations from Governor Wells, and uh, I'll read one and uh, give them both to our, one to our uh, host from America and our visitor from England. And it's a proclamation by His Excellency Governor William Wells International student exchange programs enrich the lives of young people and strengthen the bonds that exist between participating nations. Whereas the British American Project, a year-long endeavor sponsored by the Wilmington Public Schools, provides student musicians from Wilmington with the opportunity to study and experience British music and culture. Whereas student musicians from Holmfrith, England, Holmfrith, England, who are members of the Holmfrith Symphony Orchestra, are participating in the British American Project by visiting Massachusetts during the month of October. And whereas on October 20th, 1995, at the Wilmington Strings Attached Ensemble and the Home Firth Symphony Orchestra are presenting a concert at the Massachusetts State House. And whereas the Wilmington Strings Attached Ensemble and the Home Firth Symphony Orchestra are being joined by the Wilmington Marching Band in a second concert in Wilmington, whereas it is appropriate that all Massachusetts citizens honor and commend these outstanding young musicians as well as their teachers, school officials, and parents. Now, therefore, I, William Weld, Governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, do hereby proclaim October 20th through October 26th, 1995, as the British American Project Days, and urge all the citizens of Massachusetts to take cognizance of this event and participate fittingly in its observance. And signed, William Weld, Governor William Galvin, Secretary of the Commonwealth. I'll give one. To you, one to you, and I'll just say one more thing. A couple of the youngsters from England who came to the podium here use the term cheers. And I just want to say, if you've watched that famous episode or uh, shit sitcom, as we call it, and I know it's been in England and Spain, it's been all over the world, the location, and if you were staying a bit longer, I could have Lee take you down 
the location for Cheers or the Cheers Pub is just down the street on Beacon Hill. Good to see all of you, and it was wonderful having you here, and I'll turn it over to Ward. Thank you very much. My pleasure. So My pleasure. Oh, this was wonderful. Would you like to present the proclamation to the Wilmington students? At that time? We'd love to. Sure, fine. Would you rather? I'm yeah, that sounds good. One. Yep, that sounds good. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. good. Our friends from England. Wait, not the Wilmington kids. Not the Wilmington kids. Please join me in one more time. Thank you. Representative Vasselli and Lee Grassle. Lovely to meet you. Oh, good. Good. Thank you. Are the Wilmington kids leaving? No, they're staying. Oh, I can present those now if you want. Perfect. Or would you rather put it in front of the parents? Whatever you like. No, this is fine. Okay. Gee, I understand the uh, Wilmington youngsters aren't leaving. It's just the youngsters from England. So I can make those presentations now. I thought I was holding everything up. And then we'll start the tour. Okay, good. Wonderful having you here. And someday I'll drop in on you at home for it. I had hoped go to go to England this Christmas time, and uh, that may happen or may not happen, but I'll give you a call. Your Good. Call in April. Oh, gee, I've been invited to come in April. <laughs> We're probably going to be in session. Good. At this time, I'd like our friends from England to take any of your principal friends and join me where we came into the building. Friends from Wilmington, please remain seated. Okay? So we won't interrupt your concert. Denise Merritt. Stacy Soroka. Hey, Dick. Stacy? Yep. Jeffrey Holder. And I'll say it again, if there are any misspellings, please give them back to us. Come on, Lee. Yep. Megan Hardy. Jeffrey, here you go. Is that you? Good. Is it spelled correctly? Okay. Good. Good. Megan? Good. Good to see you. Laura Gargano. You want to give us a hand, Lee? Karen James Elizabeth Carter. Give her a start, yep. Laura? Laura? Karen. Okay. Here you go. Elizabeth Carter. Laura Gargano. Okay. Laura. No. Yep. Give me like we're doing that. Kerry Boyle. Now, there's one gentleman in Wilmington who has a more difficult job than I do, and that's her daddy. He's chairman of the Board of Appeals. Mm -hmm. Karen Sakey. And he does a fine job, by the way. Karen. Congratulations, Karen. Erica Gemolaro. How do you pronounce that? Anchoy. Anchoy. Laurie Kennison. Andrea Tuttle and Melissa Bias. Ann? Ann? Ann. Okay. Laura? Okay. Oh, I know your family. Andrea Tuttle. Yep. yep. Melissa. And Melissa Chincotta. Becky Guanaris and Jessica Morgan. Melissa? Great. Becky? Jessica? Who's Becky? 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 Okay. And? No, no. Caitlin Mazoka. Peter Hogan. Anne Marie Madden. Tiffany Meehan. Caitlin. Caitlin? There you go. Peter? Yeah. Amory. Huh? Uh, renovations here. Mm -hmm. So there are some places that are real mess. And uh, and second of all, it's not going to take a long time. Uh, we, we may actually have to break into two separate groups because uh, it's sort of uh, too many to get into some of the control areas. 
So I, in fact, I think it's probably going to be a better idea. But I want to say a few things to you right off the bat. And that is that um, here in the States, we do the news and the weather a little differently. It's more like a show business kind of a thing, as opposed to somebody in England reading the news, reading the news. Um, <laughs> From your uh, your Met office doing the weather portion of the show, you don't really do a lot of weather compared to us, uh, and we do more of a song and dance, and we add other things as well, uh, as opposed to being really stayed uh, from the Met office or what have you. Uh, we've had a couple of people working uh, in town here who uh, uh, are, are from England. Uh, one of them is Angela Rippon, and the other one is uh, and the, uh, the other one is David, David Frost, and. Uh, so the point is that we have had these people working here in the past, um, and when we're on TV, we do a lot of uh, news, but also a lot of weather and a lot of sports compared to the UK. So uh, another point is that when you do a weather program and see a weather program on in England, it comes from the Met Office, at least in most stations or whatever. Uh, ours is right from here. I am a real meteorologist and an oceanographer. I never planned to be on television. If you ever saw the movie Top Gun uh, with Tom Cruise, uh, that's what I used to do before I came here. Uh, I was not a movie star. <laughs> I was a naval officer. And I worked in meteorology and oceanography, and I've flown all over the world and was Navy here and flown off aircraft carriers and all that kind of thing. So I just happened to get out of television, and I've been on television ever since. And so this has sort of turned into my career. I'm 75 years old. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I've been on television long. I've been on television for 28 years, which blows my mind because I don't feel that old, but I'm getting up there. And uh, the thing is that uh, before that, I was a meteor uh, meteorological and oceanographic uh, officer in the Navy, and before that, I was in college. Uh, I had a typical uh, meteorology uh, degree is a degree in atmospheric physics. It's very difficult. Uh, and when you get out and you do a number of things, and most people don't go on television. I just happen to be there. And we have a complete weather office in the studio here. And it's all computerized. Everything we use is computer. So uh, I'll show you the studio where we do the weather program from. I'll show you the uh, weather office. You, you want to I think maybe we just go. Maybe we just go and go into the studio, and then I can split the group there. A bunch of you can just sort of hang around in the studio. Don't break anything. Uh, and then I'll take the other ones back to my uh, office. Okay, so come on. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Bob, could you turn around for this guy? Hi, Hello. how you doing? Welcome back to know I met you. And uh, I will work out in here, and when I do do the news, uh, I do the weather part of it, although sometimes the weather is the news if it's a big storm with damage and death and that kind of thing. Uh, and I will do a lot of that from right here, but I'll also do a lot of it from right here. And this is what they, what's, what's known in the movies is blue screen, motion pictures, it's called blue screen. A television, it's called chroma key, same thing. Uh, basically, I cannot wear anything that's near that color blue, because the camera that's taking a picture of me here against this blue wall, uh, the camera, when it's taking a picture of me against this blue wall, will not take anything that's in blue. In other words, it will be erased. And whatever I produce with computer graphics, or satellite pictures or radar will come out behind me as if they were behind me, but they really aren't. I'm just talking to a black blue wall, and I'm so good uh, <laughs> that I know where to point. Actually, I made it all, and it takes me a long time to set this all up because I am the producer, the writer, the editor, the performer, the meteorologist, the graphics artist, all in one. And because I've made it all, I know where it all is. So when I'm pointing to things, I know where they all are. And I will press a button out here show and make these different pictures change behind me. High up in the sky with E.T. in the basket. Uh, the point is that they were just sitting on stationary bikes in a big blue room. 
And they're just saying, you know, we feel stupid doing this. Yeah, let's go, E.T., let's get out of here. And then they just superimpose, just like we do in the weather. <laughs> That's obviously just a very short tour of just part of the studio. Uh, I thank you for being uh, an appreciative audience. Uh, everybody in the studio is getting a kick out of uh, the Brit accent and uh, that kind of thing. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, the point is that uh, I hope you uh, learned a little bit about what we do in this country. And it was uh, nice meeting you in an indirect way. Well, actually, a lot of you are the same age as my daughter, who is in ninth grade uh, here in the States. Uh, so it's interesting to see how you act compared to my daughter and uh, vice versa. And uh, I get the kick out of that. So I'd like to move much like it. <laughs> the, um, oh, well, if you are watching television, I'm, I, I, I am, in, in your terminology, the, the presenter, I'm also the producer, as I said, the producer, writer, editor, meteorologist, all that kind of thing. I will be on, I will be on TV at a little after 5 p.m. for a short show, at about 5.20 I'm on for a longer show, uh, at about 5.55 I'm on for a short show, at uh, 6 15 to 620 I'm on for a long show and at uh, 655 I'm on for a short show and then tonight at 11 p.m. I'm on for a long show at about 11 15. Okay well I'm on channel 4 and I don't know what that is on uh, you say in the hotel uh, <laughs> Oh, okay, well, if you're at home, if you're at home, sometimes uh, uh, they will have a cable and therefore it won't be channel 4, it'll be channel 4 on cable channel 28 or something. So, uh, that's a, a quick view of what we do, and uh, cheerio. Thank you.
been to a lot of schools, and our British friends have had many welcomes. And I know when they get home, one of the first things they'll say to their family and friends is, there was this school called the Wildwood, and I will never forget it. Give yourselves a nice round of applause. Now comes a very exciting part of our day because I'm going to introduce you to Mr. Morgan. Our friends are going to perform for us, and then when you go back to your classes, if you would like a British visitor from England, I will come around and let you borrow them for a little bit of time, and you can ask them any polite question you would like. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please join me in welcoming Mr. Morgan. Thank you, Mr. Dilmore, and thank you, Wildwood School. That was a wonderful, wonderful welcome. And I hope that we can perform for you this morning as well as you perform for us. We've got a couple of things we'd like to play for you. First of all, Ian and Francis are going to do a song at the piano. Now, I don't know what it's called because they only decided they wanted to do it this morning. So I've got to ask them, what's it called? Where the wild roses grow. Where the wild roses grow. Are there any wild roses at Wildwood? <laughs> there are now. <laughs> Here we go, Ian and Francis at the piano. Where the wild roses grow.
you very much, Ian and Francis, for the lovely song. Now, boys and girls, if you notice something different about the students from England, anything you can see that's different about them to you, yeah? They sing better. I don't think so. I think not. <laughs> and we have a different accent, yeah? Yes, They've got sharper hair. <laughs> Got it. Some of them are wearing ties. Now, Fiona and um, Nicholas, can you just go forward a minute, please, and stand at the middle. These are our models, boys and girls. <laughs> now, in the middle, there's the middle, there's the middle. <laughs> now, all of the boys and girls at my school and at most of the schools in England wear a uniform school. Nicholas is sporting the lower school uniform, a white shirt, black trousers and shoes, and a red, black and white tie. This is the uniform you would wear until you're 15 years of age. So when you're 16 years of age, like Fiona, and you go into our top year, you then get to wear a slightly different tie. <laughs> Apart from that, it's exactly the same. So there you are. So do you think you would like to wear a uniform for school? <laughs> Definitely not. Well, some of our pupils feel exactly the same way. Thank you very much, you do. You look lovely. Now, just one of the differences between your school and our school, and perhaps something you might want to ask our students about when they visit your class. I'm going to hand you over now to Mr. Bentham, who's my assistant, and he's going to play two pieces of brass music to you to finish our concert and I'll let him tell you all about it. Mr. Bentham. We've been talking about accents, and believe it or not, I'm from England as well. Sounds a bit weird, I know, but I hope you can understand me okay. I'm from the north of England. Um, in the north of England, we have a really, really strong brass tradition. Around the stand here, we have two trumpets, a tenor horn and a trombone, a real, real strong tradition of good brass players. Today we're going to treat you with two pieces of music. The first one is American, it's by George Gershwin, and it reflects the lovely weather we've had since we've arrived. It's called Summertime. Okay? After we've played that, we're going to play for you an English folk song by a composer called Percy Granger, and it's called Shepherd's Hay. Hope you enjoy it.
Teachers, uh, for those teachers and, and students that would like to have some visitors in their classrooms, all that we've asked you to do is simply hang on your doorknob and little notation, or if you have misplaced that notation, you may place a note right outside your door, and uh, you, you'll be joined in a few moments by some of the students from England. So we're going to ask in the rear of the room if the fifth graders can start the way back to the classroom. Soon will be joined by some of our friends. Thank you. WCTV Incorporated is not responsible for the content views or opinions expressed in the preceding program which was created by an independent producer. Home Forth to Boston B. Kind of an interesting title for, for a program from Wilmington, Massachusetts. But we have some very interesting guests that are staying in the town of Wilmington and some very interesting guests who are with us today. Matter of fact, they're all from England. They're all from Home Forth School, Home Forth School <laughs> in West Yorkshire, England. And um, they're here for, along with 56 other students, because there's 60 of them all together, and six teachers who are here for 10 days in it's kind of a rather interesting swap. Do any of you know how the swap came about? Um, it was James? Um, when one of our teachers, he, Mr. Morgan, came to teach here for a year, and then it all came about from there when he came back. Right, like Mr. Morgan was, is an English teacher who was a music teacher music at your teacher school, school, and he swapped with Jeffrey Horney, who was a teacher in yeah, Wilmington. That's right. And actually, it's taken about two years to plan that's this right, whole yeah. trip to get it going. Yeah. Um, when did the students from Wilmington get a chance to do a little traveling? April. Emma, do you know when they April. go from? By April next year. April. Are mm -hmm. they coming to England for the 10 days as well? No, I think mm -hmm. it's a bit less than 10 days. Oh, so this is a shame. Time. Okay. How did you get picked to come, and what are your particular talents? Francis? Um, well, we got picked. We all went on a, way, on a list about who, who could come and who couldn't. Oh, like, we had names picked out of a hat type thing? Or well, no, they just mm -hmm. looked through, and it was like what you'd done for the school and everything, whether you deserved to go or not. And was oh, needed as well. Yeah, yeah. If, yeah, if you were needed in the orchestra. Or okay. okay. So now I understand there's an orchestra. There's a brass ensemble, some singers, mm -hmm. um, and some strings. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that pretty much your, all you good? What instrument do you play, Dave? I play piano and tenor horn, but I'm playing the tenor horn here. 
Okay, so you brought your instrument with you? Yeah. It must have been quite an interesting, um, did you leave from Gatwick or did you leave from? Manchester. Oh, from Manchester, Manchester. Yeah. okay, because you are located in northern England. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So it must have been quite an interesting job for the luggage people. <laughs> um, how was everything wrapped up? Were, were all your instruments um, in there? We had to put them down the fragile chute. <laughs> I, I carried mine. I put mine on the plane. I wouldn't let them put it in the Ah, uh, you wouldn't have <laughs> that. Okay. Um, I understand it was the first airplane ride for everyone? No, you I've been that? on a plane before. Okay. It, in, a, in as long a flight as this one? No, was? no. Yeah. Anybody get sick? Anybody in your group of 60 um, people? Uh, well, when we landed in Boston, everybody's ears yes. went. We all ended up deaf when we got off yeah, the plane. Yeah, because your ears were killing from oh, when you went that down. Was bad, that was oh, okay, you didn't like the landing. Yeah. yeah. Good food on the plane? Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, good. Yeah, oh, nice. Okay. Nice. Um, what have you done since you've been here? What are the different events that you've, that you've taken part in, Dave? Um, well, on the um, first day that we arrived, we followed our um, hosts well, the pupils around their school, and um, just saw a typical American day. Okay, so what new phrases do you know? Well, we know shotgun. Shotgun? Oh, shotgun. Yeah. Okay, so shotgun is when you sit next to the driver. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I understand that's a problem for you. Yeah. yeah. Why is it a problem for you? <laughs> we, we always get round in the wrong side of the car. Okay, because your driver isn't sitting on the left as our driver is. Your driver is sitting on the, on the right. right. So you're actually running to the driver's seat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Every day. Every day. Every day. Have you ever gotten shotgun? No. No, I you have. I have. Yeah. I, I, I've had shotgun. Oh, a couple of you have. Okay. How about the food difference? Um, does your McDonald's and Burger King taste like our McDonald's and Burger King? Have I'm you had a chance to try it? It, it does, but McDonald's have a wider variety than we do. Oh, over here it has yeah. more choices? Yeah. yeah but, but does the hamburger taste the same? Yeah, about the same. About the same. But you have yeah. Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <that's good. laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, we like so coffee. Donuts. Donuts. Ah, the new find. Okay, yeah. what's the what's the favourite flavour that everybody smiles? Vanilla frosting. I just love the oh, iced no. coffee. Iced coffee. Chocolate like coffee. cream. Chocolate cream. Any of them. Any of them. Okay, <laughs> all the varieties. That's good. What else have you found that you don't have at home? I know you have a lot of our stores. The Gap is yeah, over there. Our Express yeah. is over in England. Yeah. But what are some of the places over here, like Dunkin' Donuts, that you're not used to? Um, we at the Chinese restaurant. We went to a beautiful yeah. Chinese restaurant. Yeah, Wailu's, was it? I'd, I'd never had Chinese food before, and so that's something that I've thought of. Excellent. So this has really been an interesting mm. um, experience. Mm -hmm. We want to say the families of who you're, you're each staying with so that they... Uh, so they know that you are in fact staying with families in Wilmington, mm -hmm. and I think all of all of the families have at least one student who's participating in the strings and will be going to England in April. So what family are you staying with, Francis? Cardinale family. The Cardinale family, and their daughter is your age. Yeah, she's sev uh, nearly seventeen. Nearly seventeen. Yeah, Angela. Dave, what about you? I'm staying with Paul Savage, and okay. he's he's eighteen. I think he's going to be 19 okay. before too long. Does her, does, does the wardrobe of the girl you're staying with look a lot different than yours? Or does it look pretty much the same? Um, yeah, we have some of the same things, but she has some different things to me. She has some different things to you. Yeah. Jane, who are you staying with? Staying with the Pizzard family. Okay. And who is their daughter? Their child? Uh, Maya. Maya. Oh, Maya. Yeah. Okay. And what grade is she in? She's in the eighth grade. She's in the eighth grade. And Emma? I'm staying with Maureen Anderson. Okay, and she's also an eighth grader, yeah. I think. She's also an eighth grader. Let's talk a little bit more about your musical experience here because that is the main reason, although I think all this other stuff is, is much fun and perhaps is memorable for you um, in things that you'll take back with you. Um, did you have a combined concert with the, with the Wilmington people yet, or is that yet Not to come? Tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. Okay, have you done much practicing for it, or have you done your practicing at home yeah. on a piece and they've done their practice? Yeah, yeah. So we've yeah. had one combined rehearsal. Oh, so you've had one yeah. rehearsal? Mm. So it's going to be a big rehearsal tomorrow. Yeah, the rehearsal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, and what are the like, different components to the concert? Is, got, is it going to be all strings? No. No. So There's going to be the brass quartet and the orchestra. And it's going to be a flying squad. Yeah. What's a flying squad? No a flag idea. Squad. Oh, a flag flying. squad. You don't know what a flag squad is? No. No. Well, 
It'll be a surprise. <laughs> it has to do with flags, though. <laughs> okay, um, it's like cheerleaders. Do you know what cheerleaders yeah. are? Oh, yeah. Okay, so except they, they perform with flags oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. at the football game. What are, some of the sim what are some of the really different things that you said, oh, my gosh, I, we never do that at home. Was there anything that struck you that way, other than the Chinese food and the Dunkin' Donuts? Um, I think it's food again, all the dry food and stuff. Yeah, yeah. a lot more yeah. dry, dry food. food. Banks. I, I went out for breakfast. We'd never think of going out no. to a restaurant for breakfast. We're just starting oh, really? to no. get like um, drive through McDonald's, but mm. that's all. Okay. Yeah. What, do you, what do you mean by dry food? Drive through. Oh, drive through. <laughs> okay, I'm sure you don't understand everything I'm saying either. Oh, drive through. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's very common. And do you have delivery service? Yeah. Have, have any of yeah. you had a pizza delivery yeah. here? Mm. Do you get that at home as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you do have delivery service. Yeah, oh, we do. Cool. Oh, good. You get those pizzas at home whenever you want them. <laughs> um, I think uh, Mr. Ward Dilmore was involved in. Um, in the music as well. Is he going to be directing the concert, the combined yeah. concert that you're having? So. Yeah, yeah, he's been the main, you know, the main person who's organised everything for us. Yeah. Now I asked you this question earlier, and I know the answer. But your school is just a normal, regular public school. That's yeah. right. Even yeah. though you look very talented, <laughs> and I'm sure you are, but this is not a school particularly for. Um, music, ta yeah. musical talent. You're just like the Wilmington kids, your normal kids, yeah. who just happen to practice, what, several hours a day? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. We pretend that we do. You pretend yeah. that you do. Okay. Yeah. Do you put some time into your work, though, Dave? You're, you're playing the piano, you said? I you do. Well, Jane's mum, actually. Um, is my teacher. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, I better say yes, really. Oh, okay. <laughs> How long have you been taking lessons? Um, I've been taking piano lessons for about six years, but ten horn I've been playing for nine. Okay. Now, I know because of my children's experience in Wilmington schools that they have primarily learned their instruments in the school itself. They have music classes and they belong to uh, different groups as the strings group that they that the group the group that's coming across with you um do you have music classes at your school are you primarily trained by teachers private teachers as you say dave mm. jane's mother is a private teacher for you what do you have well, there are like lessons that you can have at school but so but some people have private ones as well yeah, oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. So we have private lessons are available at school if you had um in the regular music lessons where all the pupils are. You wouldn't um, learn an instrument in that class, really, would you? No, you You'd wouldn't. Have no. You'd learn the lessons. keyboard, <laughs> but not, not, you, you, not a specialist instrument, really. No, you just, um, you have to go somewhere um, yeah, else. Yeah, to, to a private teacher, really. Usually. Okay, so these 60 students of, that are here have primarily spent money to go to a private teacher to be able to do yeah yeah or there's yeah. teachers that come into school yeah as well. but you have yeah. to pay for them anyway yeah so. oh and you have to oh, pay yeah, for the teachers that come to school yeah as well. mm. it's all paid for okay what schools did you visit um, did you all visit the same schools or you had a different experience mm. um yeah. we've all visited the same up till today haven't we yeah. Yeah. okay so what schools have you visited we've been to the west the west media okay that's an intermediate so that would be your host family yeah. students would, would have been yeah. to the west? Um, the North Intermediate we've been to. Okay. Um, Shoshane. Shoshane? Yeah. Good, you have a good memory. Um, Wildwood. Wildwood. In the Wildwood. And then oh, Woburn Wildwood. Street. Oh. Yeah, Wo Woburn. Woburn Street. Yeah. And the high school. So you've been to all our schools, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you were also at the Boutwell School today. Were the kids a card then? Were you oh, yeah, the kids a card Yeah. Oh, they were lovely. Did you perform for them? Yeah, yeah like only like nursery rhymes. And oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you, did you have something prepared that you knew you could yeah. present to them, or yeah. did you have to whip something up together to get? We did it really quickly. We did were told yesterday that we'd probably be called up to oh. play like a nursery rhyme, so we just. Oh, that was fun. So you really have been to all the schools. Mm. Did you notice anything different that um, the bell system, that the high schoolers changed classes with a bell system, and. The big um, 
Are yeah. the classes bigger? Does there seem to be more or fewer students in the schools that you visited than you are used to at home? Well, the bells are different because they have like time in between classes to get, they have two bells in between each class, whereas we just have one. We, the bell goes to the end of the class and you just got to get to your next class as soon as quick as you can. Oh. But in, in their school they've got like the, the bell to finish the class then a certain amount of time then another bell when they've got to be in the class. In the next class. Yeah. At our school, I mean at the school that my host goes to, they only have a bell in the morning to say that school started and a bell in the afternoon to say that it's finished. And that's the, and that's, that's, the, it. that's the whole but, thing. Is. I mean, our Francis says that at school at home, we have them in between every lesson. Oh, okay. Um, One of the main problem I've all found was the time they started in the morning. Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. That's one of that the biggest difficult. differences. <laughs> a little early for you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, fast. yeah. We don't start school until about quarter to nine. nine. And we finish at half past three. Oh, and of course the high school starts at 7.30? Yeah. Mm. So oh. the day's a lot longer here. Oh. Yeah. yeah. A lot longer. It feels longer. Uh, I think it's actually isn't. about the same, but because they start earlier and finish earlier than yeah, we do. Yeah, you're awake longer. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have lunch in any of the schools? Yeah. 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 We School got ours free. Oh, you got it free? Oh, yeah. Good deal. <laughs> How was the money raised to get you here, thinking of, of getting something free? How was, how was your money raised, or did you were you involved in raising the money to get here? Yeah. We, we did a lot of fundraising. Yeah. We had, um, we've had various things, including a fun day, where we had a lot of um, fundraising games and things, yeah. and um, bric-a-brac stores. Had, there was a fashion show. Fashion show, show wasn't there? Um, okay. a, lot of, a few concerts and things. There's been a lot going on. Which was a yeah. lot of money to but also for how long a period of time, like for a whole year? Oh yeah, yeah, a long yeah. time. But we had a Boston Tea Party. Yeah. Oh, what was um, that? Where um, it was just like strawberry, strawberries and cream and tea, and then we had like a few groups just playing, and people could just go along and sit down and have a cup of tea. Oh, you didn't have to dump tea into the into the water or anything. Oh no! Like oh no! Oh no, okay. It was a friendly Boston yeah, Tea Party. Yeah. Yeah. Um, have you been to Boston? We, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we went on Friday. You went on Friday? The state house. Yeah, I went last night, yeah. but we're off again tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to We went to the Hard Rock Cafe three. last night. Yeah, oh, how did you like great. the Hard Rock Cafe? It was brilliant. It was now, brilliant. there's a Hard Rock Cafe in London. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't there one in, near where you live in no, London? No, that's the only one in Britain, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's the only one in Britain. Oh, okay. yeah, it was. Just so that was an a treat. An experience. Yeah. Okay, all right, good. Did you get t-shirts? Yeah. Oh, good. You have to have souvenirs to bring oh, yeah. home, absolutely. Um, what did you do with the State House? We got like a tour, quick tour around, and then the strings attached to play the concert. Oh, okay. And there was the brass quartet. The brass yeah, quartet yeah. we played, yeah. Yeah. Okay, did you, um, I'm not sure if they call it the rotunda, but did you, <laughs> did they perform in that marble hall in, on, the, on the first floor there? Because the sound yeah. must have been lovely. Yeah, with the, the steps going up. <coughs> yeah. 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 Oh, you performed on the steps? No, no. no. they performed the in the steps. bottom and everyone sat on the steps. Oh, yeah. excellent, excellent. Um, and you met our representatives from Wilmington? Yeah. Okay, I'm, just, I'm not even going to ask you their names. No. You're not responsible. No. <laughs> We're going to take a break now to see a little of the performance of the Wilmington and the English students.
Was it fun seeing yourselves on stage performing? Yeah. And I think you did the best job that I've ever seen you do before. That was excellent. Um, we started to talk a little bit about television with Emma because poor Emma at home only has how many channels? Well, four channels and your host family has 52. 52. <laughs> a little bit of a difference. Mm -hmm. How do they decide what to watch? They don't, they just channel them. They just go through and then they all argue. Like, I want to watch that film. No, I want to watch the sport. And it's like, I want to watch a channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's really great fun though. Have you seen any of your British programs over here? Um, I saw Mr. Uh, Bean. You did? Yeah, okay. I saw Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and have you seen, um, are you... Being served. Are you being served? No, but everyone has asked me about mm -hmm. that. I haven't seen it. That's on quite a bit. We've yeah. seen a lot of the American programs that are on yeah. in England, in England yeah. here, yeah. like Fresh Roseanne Prince. and Baywatch. Fresh Prince and <laughs> yeah, Baywatch. ones like that. <laughs> oh, okay. Friends. What was the first one you said? Roseanne. Oh, Roseanne. Okay. And Fresh Prince and Baywatch. Oh, and Baywatch, of course. Baywatch. We all look like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, in your school, I was kind of curious. Um, you had mentioned that you have quite a bit of technology in your school. Um, could you tell us a little bit about that? Um, well, we have like computers that we use in each class, and with certain classes we've got to do a certain amount of computer work, mm. and we have like computer rooms with like several, like how many yeah. computers? A lot. A lot. a lot. a lot of computers. But computer. IT is compulsory Compul now. For you everyone. have to also do like an essay per half term term on the computer for the subjects you're doing, okay. and things like that. All right. Um, do a lot of people own computers in their home? Yeah. 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 A lot of people it's do. It's getting more and more yeah. common. Yeah. And that's the thing here. People are purchasing computers um, more for their homes that they see it, uh, I guess they see it a lot in their workplace as well, the adults in their workplace yeah. and the kids at the school. Yeah, we have like Sega and Nintendo as well. And oh, yeah. Yeah, we have games. Are they, are they more expensive or less expensive here? The, the, um, I don't know. I haven't oh, seen yeah, any. Have looked at prices for them. No. But you have looked at prices for Levi's. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. yes. So, for instance, what's the difference in pricing? Oh, well, <coughs> we compared it and we, we, reali we realized it, there were like $60 in England for Levi's and like 30 here. So. We've been shopping. We've been shopping. <laughs> Every yeah. yeah, and we just all went shopping. Everybody said before we came, you've got yeah. to get some Levi's Take in America. Yeah. Well, they knew yeah. the difference, yeah. that there was yeah. a big difference. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else that's a good buy here for you? All trainers. Everything, all trainers. All named brands. Timberland jumpers, Timberland jackets. All named brands like mm. Nike and Reebok. Oh. All so much cheaper. Yeah. No yeah. Thing. Oh, okay. Everything's a lot more expensive in Britain. Everything, yeah, everything. I've seen. Yeah. Food, everything. Oh, the food everything. is yeah. a lot more oh, expensive. Yeah. Food so, is. so you're so you're spending money. If you did take spending money with you, it's really going a long way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Every nice. every dollar. And I guess we can say to the Wilmington students that are coming over in April, watch your money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. be careful because you could actually buy things cheaper here than yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Well, we're actually going to okay. have a problem because we've bought so many clothes yeah. that they're all going to. No, they're not going to fit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to take buy a little carry-on trash bag yeah, or something and put it all in there. Yeah. No. Uh, sneakers as well? Have people purchased nice sneakers? I have. Yeah. I've got some on. Oh, some. you have some on? They're not nice, okay. but I bought these, yeah. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Very good. Um, we said we wanted to also speak about sports. What sports do you follow, like, on a regular basis that's televised or you actually Football. go to? Soccer. Football. Soc well, football, but it's what you soccer. call soccer. soccer. We don't have American We watch football. that. Oh, that's that's it in England. That's our sport. That is the and, sport. And yeah. rugby, rugby as well, yeah. which is just like American football, except our we're players are padded we're up. We're stronger. We're stronger. Yeah. Put up with a bit of more. You're much stronger. Oh yeah, much stronger. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And cricket. We have cricket. Yeah, we do. Quite quite a lot. Cricket is a very strange game. I've never. I don't. I, I play that game clearly. Um, what teams do you follow in soccer? What are your favorite teams? Huddersfield Town. Huddersfield which Town, is which is our local. Town. Oh, that's your local. Uh, and how are, you know, how are they doing this year? Changing outcasts. Oh, okay, they're doing all right. Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing well. Huddersfield Town are doing very well. They were promoted last season. 
Oh. And so, do they have like a certain length of season that they only play, or do they yeah. play year round? It's yeah. the winter season. August winter. till May, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Starts at late August and goes through till May. Oh, so that's most of the year. Short of mm. three months, that's pretty much yeah. the whole year. And there's quite a lot of leagues as well. We have yeah, yeah. we've got about five, yeah. six okay. leagues. Do you play soccer, David? Um, not now, but I used to you when used I was to? at school. Do so they have children's teams? Like we have, we yeah. actually. Wilmington has quite a large <coughs> soccer league for children of all ages here. So everybody pretty much um, grows up playing soccer. Yeah. Then somehow or other it gets lost in the translation <coughs> when we get into, a, into the adult playing soccer. Um, has, so have you three girls been involved in soccer or rugby? <coughs> I, I used to play all the time. He used to play football. Yeah, we have classes. We have it in the <coughs> classes at school <coughs> as well. Mm. But, um, oh, okay. You have your teams, you have your school teams as well? Yeah. yeah okay. I prefer rugby though. We play field oh. hockey as well. Like, me and Emma have been, I don't, we've been on the field hockey teams at school. Oh, okay. For school. Right. And did you, were you able to see any of our high school teams play? Did you I see saw, any? I saw the Wildcats play. Oh, the Wildcats? Yeah. Okay, so you went to the football game. Yeah, on Saturday, that was really enjoyed it. But it rained, we all got really wet. Oh, okay. <laughs> You, you saw the flag squad there. Did they perform in the middle of the game at halftime? No. Oh, they didn't no, because it, it was raining. It was raining yeah. Oh, okay. The band didn't go either, but the cheerleaders were there. Oh, okay. All right, good. Um, how do you look at Americans following their sports? What sports do you view us being interested in? Like, have you spoken about sports to your baseball. host family? Yeah. 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 Baseball. Baseball, baseball and American, American football. football. And I've heard about lacrosse as well. <coughs> and like, I've never heard anyone play that in Britain, but they do in America. I've seen oh, they used to in Britain. Yeah, they used in to. The in the still. private schools, the boarding schools, they played lacrosse. Oh, I see. But they don't anymore. Well, we're going to take another quick break to see um, a little bit more of our British guests <laughs> performing along with the Wilmington students. We'll be right back. <laughs> between the British and the American students, you can see um, has involved a lot of work. And after viewing that concert, which I guess we could call an extravaganza, um, it also took a lot of practice and talent and hard work to pull it all together. We just have one more segment that we wanted to go through, a few questions that you've actually suggested to me to ask you. And um, Frances has that little smile on her face so we know that she's at the high school <laughs> and has met some new people at the high school. So maybe you could tell us a little bit about the nice people that you've seen at the high school. Yeah, well, is mad. <laughs> <laughs> mad is Emma, Emma is mad yes. because she's at the intermediate school and I'm at the high school and there's all the nice boys and she's seen them and she's dying and I'm there and she's not. <laughs> Um, we were talking about how you dress for school, Francis, and this yeah. is apparently your usual yeah, uniform. Yeah, this is what we wear. Yeah, we've, we've, the boys and girls have to wear ties and white shirts and girl skirts and boys' trousers. Um, or girls can actually wear trousers if they want and black shoes. And um, that's what we've got to wear every day. Um, okay. But you can wear jewellery and put your makeup on and everything no, still, right? No, we can't wear makeup. And we can't, well, we're not really meant to wear earrings either. Well, we can, but we, we can wear studs, but we're not allowed to wear like big ones like these. <laughs> oh, okay, so, so this is a little cheating today to yeah. wear them. Does, do you actually have like a um, disciplinarian, um, a, a principal or a person in your school who says, you know, those earrings, yeah, take yeah. them off? Yeah, everybody, all the teachers. Yeah. All the teachers pretty much keep you in Yeah, yeah. if you're wearing rings, they'll confiscate them. Yeah. Oh, even rings? Yeah. I didn't yeah. even think of that when we were speaking earlier. 
Um, we were talking about all the piercing, all the body piercing that's going on with <laughs> teenagers now. Yeah. And um, Dave, what's the word that you use for people who body pierce? The nutters. <laughs> the nutters, okay. Um, they're a little wacko and a little nutty because that really is frowned upon. Even though um, some people do it. I, when it's done really bad, like you do see quite a few people in England with them like right up. There is. And you do it all the way around and, all and noses the face and, and things, yeah. tummy buttons and It's a bit much, but everything. each their own really, isn't it? Okay, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. so it really is, um, it, it's a trend, but hopefully a, more people will figure that they're nutters. Yeah. Rather than that they're oh, the, uh, the general one. It's up to them, isn't it? It is, yeah. it is up to them. Yeah. Um, what about the strictness of your school? Um, do you have a behavior code that you have to stick by? Um, mm. Do you stand when a, when a teacher comes into a room? Mm -hmm. Are you that formal? Or no. What's the level we, of formality in your school? We call the teachers uh, Sir and Miss. miss. Oh, okay. Um, oh, without their last name, just yeah, Sir and Miss. Sir and Miss. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, is, it is very strict. We had a code of conduct introduced last year, which you got, and if you bend it, you get lines, like and the then a detention, and, yeah. then, <laughs> and then after school detention, and then suspension, and it, you know, if, you, if your behaviour continues to be bad after everything, then you get expelled. Shane, what's the first thing you said? Lines. It's lines? What are lines? Well, you have to write... Um, <laughs> it's really I stupid. I must not be a naughty girl. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's so stupid. You have a line for copy. It sounds like you've done that. <laughs> no. no. I must ensure I and always comply with school rules. Oh, I must ensure I always comply with school rules. So, Jane, you have done it? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I did it once. Um, I did it once for something really stupid. In how many like times I had a ring on that? or something. Um, about 150. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess once would be enough. That would be it. You but want to the do really that. annoying thing is, is when you give them to the teacher, they tear them, them up in front of your face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've just done that. Well, you didn't want them to frame it. You didn't oh. think that they were going to frame well, it. Well, no, you, but yeah. they could what, put it on one side. <laughs> what, other, what other disciplinary things indicate the strictness of your school? What about how much homework you get? We get a um, lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. On an evening, what do you plan on? How many? How much time do you plan that you would need to do your homework? Oh. Well, it depends on how much you get. We're supposed to have about an hour and a half a night, but we always have much more than that. At college, much more. At college, we're meant to do five hours per each subject. We do um, three subjects plus general study, so it's four, and then five hours for each of those, so it's fifteen yeah. to twenty hours a week homework. Hours. Wow, so that's like two hours each night plus all day Sunday here. Right. Now, <coughs> compared to your uniform students, no makeup, no jewelry, <laughs> um, everybody looks pretty much the same. Um, now you're at Wilmington High School or you're at the North Intermediate or the West Intermediate Schools. Um, Emma used the term laid back. Mm. The school seemed really laid back compared to yeah. yours. Yeah. What were some of the differences that you observed? Well, it's like the whole class thing, the whole class idea and the teaching method seems to be more laid back than they are in England. Like mm. if we were talking when the teacher was talking, you, you get sort of quick telling off. Oh, yeah. And then if you did it again, you'd be and out. again, you'd be out of the classroom. Yeah, you would. Oh, okay. And like they're allowed to chew gum, we're not. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, is it more interactive here? By that I mean, does the teacher speak and then the students respond more back and forth? Is more of an interplay between the teacher and the student here? Or is there just as much in your school but it's more regulated? I'd say there was just as much really at yeah. home. I think the, um, the pupils are a lot more familiar with the teachers here than they yeah. are in Britain. A lot more familiar. Because like, they'll just walk in and they'll just like say, hi. You know, as they're going down the corridor, whereas in Britain you don't really say mm -hmm. hi. Yeah. You don't make a point of saying hi and good morning to your teacher, whereas here they do. They're okay. a lot more familiar. All right, so there's more of a more of a, a line between the two of you. The teachers are the teachers, and yeah. the students yeah. are the students. Oh, there's, there's some teachers are more friendly than others. Uh, well, yeah, but, but you would never make a point of saying hi to, your t to, your, to any of your what teachers. Not real. Not if you if you just walk into school in the morning, you just walk past them, wouldn't you? Whereas here, they just you know. Francis would say hi. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe that's a little bit. No, sometimes. It's a little, sometimes. Sometimes it depends. I on think the though generally. Maybe. Yeah. I think the generally. idea generally is that. 
teachers and pupils are more separated yeah, a lot in more Britain. Separated. Yeah, but because it like, depends which teacher it is. Some teachers yeah. are a lot more laid back than others. Okay. Did the teacher stand in front of the classroom and lecture more to you in Britain? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you, you think it's more, are you taking notes all the time? Or are you more talking back and forth? Or is there a variety? There's quite a lot of note yeah. taking, but, you know, you have a lot of, you know. Just a lot of interest. You don't. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of interest there, you know, it's not boring, it's not monotonous, it's, you know, it's interesting work. Okay, good, good. Um, we have a holiday coming up, uh, Halloween, and we know how we celebrate Halloween, and perhaps you've had a little, uh, a little um, exposure to it, especially in the stores. I'm sure you've seen all yeah. the Halloween yeah. decorations, and different houses have even um, little orange pumpkin lights mm. out in their house. Yeah. yeah. And mm. is that different from around your way? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, in England we don't celebrate um, Halloween as much as you do. We do celebrate it, but usually it's the smaller children mm. who dress up and trick or treat, whereas we don't. Yeah, we don't have any decorations. We have. No, we don't decorate like the houses. Yeah. yeah, but it, but we have like bonfire night, yeah, which, which is, is more a thing that everybody does. Yeah, which is it comes about because of this um, man called Guy Fawkes who tried to blow up the Houses of Parliament, and because of that he got caught, yeah. and um, he was thrown onto a big fire. Oh. And, um, so and we on throw, November the fifth, mm -hmm. and on November the fifth, we throw these um, pretend bodies of this <laughs> man, <laughs> yeah. which is very sadistic. Yeah, it's sadistic. Yeah, but it's like a scarecrow. Yeah, yeah. It's a celebration yeah. of the fact that he was caught and yeah. that they didn't Great. blow it up. Yeah. And it, like loads of fireworks and there's big yeah. displays and everything. Yeah, it's big, really massive, massive big coffee fires. Apple. Toffee yeah, apple, yeah. Toffee. Yeah. Toffee. Yeah. bonfire toffee, jacket and potatoes, soup, all the food. Yeah. 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 What did we do? Jacket potatoes and soup. And oh, jacket potatoes. Oh, jacket potatoes. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. massive big fire. And oh, it's a good like really good hunt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 holidays are anyway. Um, but yours is November fifth. Yeah. Guy yeah. Fawkes Day is November fifth. Yeah. 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 And our Halloween is October thirty first. Yeah. Yeah, that's the same. We have Halloween. It's Oh, and you do have Halloween on October 31st? Yeah, very yeah. so But we just don't either. celebrate it as much as you do. Oh, no, you might. kids dress up in costumes and go house to house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. some of them. But that dies off no. when you're about 11, really. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I think that's kind of around here, too. The older kids really maybe just use it as an excuse to walk around yeah. the neighborhood, but really it's for the little kids um, yeah. that we have it. Um, you're not going to be here for Halloween, are you? No, it's no. a shame. Oh, well, we're leaving yeah, yeah. on the 28th. So uh, if we'd been here through my days, we wouldn't. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Now, we talked about candy a little while ago, and this from Halloween goes right into it. Um, I've been to Britain, and I love the Smarties, which are kind of yeah. like yeah. M&M's. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what candies do you like over here that you've had a chance to try? Lifesavers. <laughs> Lifesavers, they're cool. So like you, don't, you don't have Lifesavers? We have no. Polos, oh, which are sort of harder. Uh, same sort of a ring. Yeah, mint, oh. mint, two, mint ring. Oh, okay. So you're going to bring those home? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody try some lifesavers. And, and David, they like root beer. Taste some mouthwash. Oh, it's taste some mouthwash. It's you the like root beer. Uh, the root beer here tastes of our mouthwash, and it's the most <laughs> gorgeous stuff ever. <laughs> I've got root oh, beer okay. barrels. Oh, them David. off, take home. <laughs> no, <laughs> <the mouthwash. laughs> That's an interesting taste that you're really in love with. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that we've covered a lot of our topics. You've been so open and so friendly. I've really enjoyed speaking with you. And I'm sure your host families have enjoyed having you um, stay with them. Um, it'll be, we'll, we'll hope, and I'm sure that they do. Um, and I know that Francis has had a good time here, staying at the high school and looking around at all the lads. <laughs> that was and that was a little sad. <laughs> But I want to thank you, all of you to um, take some time to spend some time with us. And I know you'll be here till the 28th, so have a wonderful time. Your last day will be a full day in Boston, and then you'll fly off on Friday night. Mm -hmm. So safe trip home. Thank you very much for visiting with us. And um, this is the end of the Home Fourth to Boston Beach. Thank well, you. <laughs> <laughs>
followed around by a television station. Should be a 
occasion arise that you run out of money, <laughs> will you please come and talk to us? We'll be slightly more sympathetic than your hosts who have been instructed under no circumstances to lend you any money. Now, this isn't being horrible to you, it's just trying to prevent any kind of borrowing situation from arising. So, if anything goes wrong financially, put it up to us. Regarding which, should there be any possible hospitalisation or need for funds, A, we're taking some cash, and B, we'll all have our credit cards so we can cover whatever else we want. So, should we, be, we, we, we can cover our front expenses for, for medical emergencies um, between us. Before, uh, before we have to start wiring insurance companies and banks. We're not worried about that. It's always worked in the past. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got that down. Um, during the course of the next week, there will be basically runs. You go to a school with your host, be taken to another school, give a short concert, meet everybody, go somewhere else, give a short concert, and go back to the school when you start from with your host. So it's a very, very packed week. All the schools in the town want to meet you. They want to see you. And it's as important when you go in to the last school in the week that you give as good impression of yourself as you do in the first school we go into. They will only see you once. So please, go and get bored with going around schools because they won't be bored with you. The choir will sing a bit at odd school, Rashford will play at odd school, but we've got a sort of solo that's going to play We don't have to do a major concert in school. The major concert is reserved for the day before we come home in the high school, in the, uh, in the gymnasium of Stroke Hall Victoria there, which is very large. Tickets are selling very, very well. We're doing rehearsals all afternoon, constant reception in the evening. So we're not going to say, okay, well, well, we play the day before we leave, we don't play again until the final day. You all will, and possibly, I may well argue for an extra rehearsal during the course of the week anyway. Okay? Final day, on Friday, you'll take a train from Wilmington into Boston. All your instruments and luggage will be on a truck safe in Wilmington. We'll have a walking tour in Boston. You've got to make sure that by that time. Uh, to see all the sites that you haven't already seen, we'll then go out and have a look on the tube, which is the tea, the oldest underground railway in the United States, out to Logan Airport to meet our uh, airplane to bring this back. During the course of the week and on that day, there are several things you will have to pay for. Not many, but <coughs> You may have to pay for your lunch each day in school. For that, reserve two dollars <coughs> a day. You will, at the moment, have to pay for the train ride into Boston from Wilmington. Reserve ten dollars. I don't think it's going to be that much. So out of your money, <coughs> round about twenty dollars is accounted for. You could arrange with your hosts to organise a picnic lunch for yourselves every day, just like maybe you do here already. So you can bring sandwiches into school and eat them in school for your lunch. That's between you and your hosts. They will discuss that with you. They will also discuss the refrigerator rules. <coughs> Whether you are allowed to attack the refrigerator and snack at 3 o'clock in the morning or not. <laughs> Phone rules. Now you might be allowed to phone your friends within Wilmington. That's free. Local <coughs> right. calls are free. I'm sure that if necessary, if you feel a bit lonely, which you may well, they will allow you a phone call home. But 
please don't be out of your house every waking minute of the day to let them allow you reading to, to, to read English. A, your parents have got rid of you for 10 days and do not want to hear from you. B, it's expensive. But they will be quite old enough to allow you to bring home if necessary. But please, the first port of call with any problem will be one of us. We have put you all into teams. Every member of staff is responsible for a number of you in the first instance. <coughs> and you'll come to us before you go to anybody else, please. Before you try and work something out with your friend, before you try and work something out with your host, and let's get off this like this was a long time. Before you don't switch it down, you switch it up. Then please come to us and let us try and sort it out for you. The final, the final thing I've got to say on the, uh, the itinerary is they're different, I say it time and time again. Don't expect them to do anything the same as you except speak similar words. Okay? It's just like Rami Gould. Before I hand back to Miss Dunn, before we then come and see Mr. Matthew, questions at the end. There are three things I've been asked to mention uh, this way, because I've mentioned them that way too. I have a number of uh, one day raffle prizes still to be claimed. But you don't wait. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> you don't, it's fixable. Leave it on fixable. Just take very great care of it. Okay. 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 There are a number of raffle prizes still to be played for the fun day. If you know an S first. 685869. Not the S first who already won a prize. Well, 685869. You all set? Have they say in Massachusetts? Where else should I go? Where's my Ready? Face me then.
I want it. I do Take one of that. Have you got one of the flames? Hmm? Yeah. Have you got one of the flames? across the seven seas to the far midst of American states to uh, go on a musical excursion. And how do you feel about this and meeting your pen friend for the first time ever? Well, I phoned her last night. Her? Oh, oh interesting. Yeah. How old her is she? Jamie. Really? <laughs> You're kidding. Nope. That's cool. So we've got something in common already. You have to introduce me to her. Okay. Whatever. So, how's my sense in? Fine. Oh, that's well, nice. The light's hitting you now. You're a silhouette. What's up, Liam? A bug. Look at it. Stupid. If my, if my mother ever sees this, it's your fault. Right. It's your fault. Crap right, listen, so, um, so, so you're looking forward to meeting them? Yes. And um, what, what do you expect you'll be doing on the, uh, the weekend then? Going to see basketball. Yes. You're going to see basketball? Definitely. Definitely going to see basketball. Well, that'll be interesting. It'd be funny if you didn't. It'd be funny if they took him to see, like, Gordon and Gopher. A movie or something. Now we're just going to film Philippa. She's down there, sipping her thumb. That is funny. Where's the zoom? That is. I'm going to edit this out. What's the zoom? Don't zoom? rub it out. Right, listen. Why? Everything in, I tell you what. Because you want the, the crap stuff in more than the good stuff. You always oh, we've got a right good one in here, Philippa. Uh, wake her up, 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 don't wake her up, don't wake her up, I've got a camera. <laughs> She's giggling, zoom in on that smile. Philippa's awake. Yeah, 
Flash metal bands do the shoot here, photos. This used to be Robbie Parker on the left here. Yeah. What was it? Robbie Parker used to sell bullets on that first game. Thank you. 